Yes, hello. We came uh, last night, pretty late here in the Olanga base camp, and we are going to stay here about one week. And a uh, few wor words about this place. This is like the paradise for backrafter. And <laughs> thanks, honey. <laughs> I just said before that take the sunglasses off when we are in speaking to the camera because it's annoying to see people with the shades. Yeah, but anyway, this is in perfect location. It's near the Olanka National Park. I think it has been voted almost every year like the top 10 national parks of Finland uh, or uh, wor whole world. So it's nice hiking routes going here all the way, all around. And uh, here's the big rafts, so you can take raft rides. You can actually rent a back raft here and take a back rafting, like basic course to the, they teach you how to use the packrafts and there is a lot of different rivers here it's at least like four four a perfect rivers for packrafters some of them could be a little bit low water in the mid midsummer or after the midsummer but now it's what day is now oh um, i have no idea actually <laughs> <laughs> we have been in after Becker. midsummer or something yeah. yeah, now it's the 22nd second, second of June, so now it's uh, really nice flow in the rivers, but it's getting low low water really fast. But some rivers are like doable all year, I think. Mm. Not in winter, of course, because there's ice and it's really difficult to paddle in the water if it's uh, not liquid anymore. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, let's walk a little bit and check this place out. This place is so beautiful. And it's really perfect location. Yeah. Couple of mosquitoes but nothing. Nothing special. Yeah. You can find those in every place. And there's reindeers running in the yard. Stuff like that. Amazing. There is a sauna and a sand beach down there. You can go walking there also. You saw our room there. So Sometimes it's nice to be in the white seats also, that not always in the wilderness. Different kind of vacation. Hmm. Yeah, let's take a small round here. So here's the sauna, the smoke sauna. Very traditional Finnish sauna, it's great. How do you know? Have you been there? Yes, I have. Two years ago. Wow. Yeah. And then there's the lake. Okay, let's check out the lake. Ladies first. To the lake? Yes. Can jump to the lake. So it's beautiful. Swamp here also. Watch out, some reindeer shit. Okay. And there's a duck board going to the lake. Oopsies. My shoes are wet now. So it's so much more water than two years ago. Yeah, I was just saying that now it's really high water because it's so much water here. So that's good for our paddling. We are going to make maybe five back rafting trips in this location, different rivers. So we'll use, we will show you what kind of tools we have here in Finland. Here's a couple of big rafts also. Yeah, so here's the beach. How does it look, Katja? It's beautiful. The water is so much higher than last time, but yeah. it's great here. Sandy beach. I want to go swimming this evening, maybe. Yeah, two years ago we had tent up here. Yeah. I think the water was almost like 60 centimeters, maybe lower. Hard to say, it's really uh, low. Uh, Beach. Yeah. Shallow, long. That looks really nice. Yeah. And actually, I can zoom there a little bit. There you can see 
it goes to the right side and there uh, goes the Kitka river and there's a really famous uh, paddling route there's a Niska Koski behind that rocks and after that comes Mylly Koski we can actually walk there it's a class 3 rapid really big one after that comes class 4 rapid uh, Alokko Koski and after that is class 6 rapid Jurava is it 5? oh 5 yeah uh, sorry because people have paddling it then it drops down to 5 if you don't die it's 5 yeah, usually like uh, every three years or two years, I think somebody's paddling down that, that river. Yeah, but maybe we could walk to the Myllykoski and show a little bit the nature around here. Because it's nice to see from the land also. And uh, we can then paddle the same route later. Today we are going to actually start paddling from back there, that lake. Uh, the Kitkajoki upper parts and we we are going to end our paddling to this uh, beach so it's like maybe three hour thing or something okay so we are here now just next to uh, Lulukoski and uh, here's the national park there's a lot of uh, fireplaces, linda shelters everything the route is very well uh, the trail is very well marked and uh, uh, really easy for beginners for example go hiking here this uh, bear trail or small bear trail but we're gonna go see the river kitka yoki here we're gonna scout the rapids there so we are now in myllykoski and we were packrafting here two years ago and uh, yeah you can find the video in the youtube we had a Finnish packrafting uh, meetup here in Kitka, Joki. really hot this summer and a uh, little bit funny last time we were here uh, it was winter a little bit uh, two years ago I could say <laughs> and we were sleeping down there in the canyon and it was minus 38 degrees Celsius so pretty cold and now it's so hot so I love the nature uh, different times of the year it's always beautiful and it's so different
this is the place where the yeah, we have all of the Mosquito Rapid ends. It's really high canyons. So here is not any places to hike out. But we know that there's a little bit like a lake down there. You can see so much bushes, but there is a ladders made on the right side where we can hike out. So I think we'll, we will paddle this rapid later this week. It will be a little bit rainy. swim. <laughs> yeah, I hope not swim. So it is like 50 meters drop down there.